वेलकम टू दी ब्लेज गोल्ड बस्ट शो आई एम योर शो होस्ट ब्लेज गोल्ड बस्ट आवर कंपनी ब्लेज गोल्ड बस्ट टेक्नोलॉजीज हैज कोलेबरेटेड विथ रेवरेंट टॉन पब्लिकेशन इन बुक मार्केटिंग एंड वी वुड हेल्प आवर ऑथर्स टू रीच देयर पोटेंशियल रीडर्स एंड ब्रिंग आउट देयर मैसेज टू दी वर्ल्ड इन दिस ट्वेंटी सिक्स एपिसोड वी वुड ब्रिंग बिफोर यू अ रेवरेंट क्राउन ऑथर हु वी बिलीव हैज द ग्रेटेस्ट पोटेंशियल रोज मैरी कोल द ऑथर ऑफ द बाइकर एंड द डांसर Before we begin the interview we would let you know that the biker and the dancer merch are available now you can get the t-shirts from the link in the description below also you can order a copy of the biker and the dancer all links are in the description below let us begin the blaze gold bus show how would the book the biker and the dancer connect two cultures and break stereotypes what message would you like to give to your potential readers That's a very good question. Thank you. My book, The Biker and the Dancer, breaks stereotypes and connects two cultures in the storyline. One thing that allowed this to happen is unconditional love. Some stereotype in the marketplace says two persons of different cultures, ethnic background, religious background, economical background cannot live together and get along but that's not true what makes it possible is that the two main characters in the book experience the agape love of god and they do share the eros love between each other and it works so my message to potential readers is to first connect with God through the person of his son Jesus Christ who forgives save restore and guide he guide Paul and Ekaterina how large is the potential reader base for the book the biker and the dancer in the united states my potential audience here in the us is from age 18 up male and female i just heard on the radio a few days ago that the romance genre have increased rapidly audience are getting younger that is very good news for us everyone of a desire a need to be loved Apart from the traditional publishing house promoting the book what are your plans in the book marketing sphere I thank Blaze Technology to help with promoting my book and I really wish to have the opportunity to promote my book in conferences book clubs TV commercials interviews book signing event I'm willing to stand on any stage to do this because i believe in its message i believe in the message that my book portray many aspiring authors with great potential are usually rejected by traditional publishing houses however reverend crown publications is giving the new most promising authors a scope to be traditionally published what are your views i applaud what reverend crown publish publishing is doing for unknown authors like myself i pray that god grant you great success uh you're taking a chance of authors like me and i think you are brave and it will make a big difference in our lives thank you very much there are great unheard voices from africa and all the third world nations the continent which has rich varied literature is still unexplored Reverend Crown is reaching to the aspiring authors from Africa and getting their works to be known to the world. How do you feel it is going to bring a change in the world of literature? Again, I thank God for Reverend Crown bravery. They intentionally target authors from Africa and the third world countries and these nations in the third world and Africa, they have a lot to say and they are diverse and they will bring changes to literature throughout the world and they are unique and they have intriguing cultures and the world needs to see that 
why traditional publishers usually reject aspiring authors with great potential how should an author overcome this feeling and rise above all odds i can only guess the reasons why traditional publishers reject aspiring authors like myself one we are unknown to the world unknown to the public and we do not have a lot of following on facebook social media but i'm sure they are thinking of the bottom line book sales because they're thinking of the money but sometimes they are wrong i'm sure there are authors out there who defy the odds they get rejected by traditional publishers and then they self publish and acquire great success so i'm happy for them personally i believe in what god called me to do and i will never give up i will never give up and i say to other authors never give up on your dream persevere do whatever it takes never give up how would you deal with haters in the book industry what if they try to bring you down how would you handle such a situation i welcome constructive criticism uh it will make my work better but as for haters and negative comments i do not dwell on that i pay no attention to that why because i am confident that he who begin a good work in me will see through to the end god will reward me for my hard labor and that's how i feel thank you it was a fantastic experience interviewing rosemary cole the author of the biker and the dancer all readers out there our message to you let us support aspiring authors having great potential let us take a chance in trying something new only we can bring the change let us support literature by making new voices to come to the fore order your copy of the biker and the dancer right now thank you for watching this interview if you want to support the voice of the aspiring authors and believe that every aspiring author deserves to be heard in this world then subscribe like and share this video to inspire and motivate others